just really trying to change your mood, love. Hi guys, thank you for stopping by my channel. Today I thought I'd do a few looks using the new Tati Beauty Textured Neutrals Volume 1 palette. I love how these palettes are a mouthful to say. So yeah, I thought I'd play around with some more with this baby and do three looks today. I didn't film them all in one day. I did it over the space of a few days just to make it more easier and really play around with the formulas. So I've done this look I've got on right now and then also two other looks. One is a really simple daytime look. This is like an in-between and then there's one um, going out glam one. There is definitely several multiple looks you can produce using this palette. So I really hope you guys enjoy it if you've ordered it and enjoy it as much as I have. The only thing is today I did not even lay any glitter glue down. So the glitter has gone up into my crease. I do recommend using a glitter glue if you're going to use the glitters and even possibly the sequin shades. So I've had it for like five days now. After playing with it, the sequin shades especially, I think they're best when using a concealer as a primer underneath before you go on with it so you can make the glitter particles stick and stay onto the lid. I, I do find that works better. This look I've done today, if you see, they're all gonna be voiceovers basically. So on this look, before I applied for glitter, if you're not into wearing glitter, you probably won't even buy this palette anyway. If you want to keep it toned down, then it's what I'm, what I'm trying to say is it's possible to do with this palette because you can just go in with the sequin shade because it's like a really muted, sparkly shade. Um, I've, I did lay glitter on top because I wanted to. On one of the looks, the daytime look, I didn't use any glitter. On today's, I just basically... Um, spread it quite sparsely i didn't want it all stuck in one place to be in your face kind of thing but it has gone into the crease and that's because i didn't use a glitter glue let's give you a quick close-up at this one and you can see what i'm talking about where the glitter's gone into the crease i mean it's still beautiful and you know what sometimes i think people are too nitpicky and they just nip, 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 nip. No one's gonna be that close to your face to see any kind of little mistake that you make. So please don't take makeup so seriously. If you enjoy your makeup and you like beauty, do not worry if you haven't got that perfect blend or the glitter goes slightly, I mean, I am, if you, if you haven't followed my channel, I am a freelance makeup artist. I feel I can say that now confidently and um, yes, for pictures, I think it's really important to get that precision perfect um, for my portfolio or for my for my um, business page. It is important to have that precision there. But on a day-to-day -day basis, like today, I'm going to the school, um, this doesn't matter that it's gone into the crease. So do not take it too seriously. For a night out, yes, wear glitter glue if you want it to stay and also these lashes um i've never wore these before these are tatty lashes i don't know if you can get them in the states i'm gonna find out and see if i can put it in the bar below but they're very 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 comfortable lashes really natural looking so if you like a little bit of glamour but some natural looking lashes they are long but not extra long but they're very, very comfortable. You cannot tell that you've got them on your eyes. If you want to dip into and maybe experiment with some lashes, I recommend these. These are the Tati Lashes 3D Brazilian Hair TL23. They're just so natural looking, lightweight, and they give you that just a little bit of oomph you want. I'll be quiet and get on with showing you the free looks that I created using the Tati Volume 1 Textured Neutral, you know what I'm saying. So starting off with Soothe Sequin Shadow, I'm going to be packing that all on the lid and then once I've packed it on there generously, I go in with a fluffy brush and start blending it out. Um, I was trying to basically just play around with the sequin shadows to see what they're able to do. And after using the sequin shadows, I actually think that if you're going to stick a shimmer or metallic or a glitter over the top of the sequin, I don't think it's worth using the sequin for its intended purpose but if you're just going to be using it alone then yes it's fine for a nice subtle look i'm going in now with soothe metallic and when i say these metallics are smooth to go on the lid they are super smooth and then following that i go in the inner corner with aura with the other metallic 
Then using the shadow um, on the matte row, the black, I use it as a liner. It works super amazing to use as a liner. I love using it. And then going back in with Aura for under the brow. Finishing off with mascara, my foundation, and then trying out my new Sydney Grace lipstick for the first time on camera. That was a lovely autumn colour. And that's the first daytime look done. Now going on to the glam look or the most glam look I've created so far with the palette. I go straight in with the matte row for the black and I'm just doing a harsh line in the crease and then I'll blend it out with the uh, the poet sequin shade is what I used is what I'm putting above the black and then that takes me a little minute to get, get them two colors to blend together it worked out really nicely it didn't go horribly wrong it didn't turn muddy or gray which I thought it might do and yeah just blend it away Now using the sequin aura shade to go even higher towards the brow bone just to make sure there's no harsh lines on the dark pink and then for the lid I'm using sequin black or oh, sorry sequin memory that's the sparkly black that is gorgeous that by itself you can just end it there and be done just do maybe a little bit more blend work for it but no on its own the sparkle was really showing up lovely I'm going in with a cotton bud to straighten out that outer edge and then laying down some glitter glue for the final part which is Poet um, glitter which is the lovely dark pink glitter in there it looked stunning on the eye beautiful glitter on the lower lid um, sorry the lower lash line I use Ritual and Soothe mixed together just blending them in to smoke out the bottom lash line and then mascara some lovely Jouer lipstick or lip gloss and that's the end of look number two the final third look I'm going in with the matte row using both Soothe for the first colour and then I go in with Story the orange matte I was really happy and impressed at how pigmented the shades are in the palette. None of them have disappointed me as far as pigmentation. You'll see on the video um, how well that turns out in the crease. I just put that all in the crease and I also go in again with a smaller brush to deepen up the orange because I really wanted the orange to stand out on this one. With an even smaller brush I go in with Ritual just a tiny bit in the crease just to give it a little bit more depth and then I'm adding concealer for a base to lay down my next shade which is the sequin row in Aura I wanted to see how much the beautiful pink cream shade would show up on my lid and I'm just packing it on with a packing brush I don't know if you'll be able to see that but I do get in a close-up so you can see how subtle these shades are if you was to wear them by themselves now I'm adding the glitter row in aura quite sparsely all over didn't want it to stand out too much today and just finished off with some Kat Von D um, liner because I wanted some liner on this look mascara foundation and the rest of my makeup and that is the third and final look which I created using the Tati Beauty Textured Neutrals Volume 1 palette. I do like it, it's a good palette.
absolutely loved how this look turned out for some reason. Um, I just really, really like how it turned out. I love the lashes. And then I'll show you guys how much I have to struggle doing this thick hair of mine. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the video, guys.